Now I got some controversial questions for you. Like I mentioned before we started recording, uh, most of my audience is on the home grow side of, side of things. And there's a lot of things that people do in order to try to get a better result. So, uh, for example, some growers will put their plants in a period of darkness before harvest. For example, 48 hours of darkness or 72 hours of darkness, then they'll harvest. It's said that the darkness period is when secondary metabolites are formed and trichomes fall into that category. So giving your plant a period of darkness will either allow the plant to produce more trichomes and or allow the terpenes and cannabinoids to become more potent. What's your take on that? Is leaving your plant in a period of darkness before harvesting beneficial at all? That's one of those things I'm going to say we don't have any evidence that that helps. But now let's back up to the theory. When we say trichomes, or when terpenes, are, and maybe trichomes, are formed at night, that's not correct. They're, they're synthesized out of the energy from photosynthesis. The photosynthetic energy makes sugars, especially sucrose, and that sucrose is used to make the terpenes, makes the, the trichomes as well. So... If we put the plants in the dark, we're taking away their energy source to synthesize terpenes. So we haven't specifically done these studies here, but my colleagues in other places have. And as a general rule, the terpenes are less when they're in the dark because they're respiring away all the sugar. They can't make new terpenes because they're out of energy. So my recommendation to, to growers, and this is based on principles and what I think are best practices, keep the lights on, now, right, right to the end. And there is even some people that go to 24 hours of light because if they don't need to trigger any more reproductive development. They just want to push the plant hard. That's the other extreme, the opposite. Um, but cool temperatures can reduce the volatilization, which is the evaporation of terpenes. And if they're in the dark and cold, now the cold temperature might help. It's not the dark, but it's the cold temperature. So there could be some evidence for keeping the plants, keeping the lights on, but reducing the temperature. And if I had to go off of mechanistic studies, that's what I would recommend, reduce the temperature. But then you're reducing the development of the plant. And if it's cold, it, it doesn't synthesize new terpenes as fast. So it's, it's not clear to me that the coldness would really help. It would help preserve terpenes, but it would not help the plant synthesize new terpenes. And the fact that we're smelling the plant at all, which you do, that means the terpenes are coming off. <laughs> That's what makes the, the smell in the first place. Um, but I think we ought to put more emphasis on continued synthesis of terpenes right to the last day of harvest and less, evident, less emphasis on doing something to preserve what's already there. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.